What's going on guys, this is Vince with vshred.com and today I'm going to be breaking down the discussion between barbell bench press versus dumbbell bench press and which is better for you. Okay, so the discussion between whether you should do barbell bench press or whether you should do dumbbell bench press. Um, and to be clear, in this video, I'm not necessarily saying that everybody should do one or everybody should do the other or that you should completely get rid of one or the other. Uh, barbell bench press and dumbbell bench press both have their pros and cons to the exercises. It just more so comes down to what your specific goals are. So I'm gonna go just through these one by one, starting with bench press, and then I'm gonna talk about dumbbell bench press, and just more so talk about the pros and cons of each of these, that way you, it can better help you understand why exactly you would do one or the other, and which one is ultimately just best for your goals. So, uh, starting with barbell bench press, barbell bench press is a, a great compound movement. It is more of a compound movement than a dumbbell bench press. With a barbell bench press, what you're gonna find is that you're working more muscle groups, so with any kind of push motion, pull motion, it's gonna be what is known as a polyarticulate exercise, meaning that you're, you're, you're using more than one joint. So if you're doing something like a, bar, like a bicep curl, you're just gonna be going through your elbow. When you're doing something like a press, you're gonna be going through your elbow and your shoulders, you're going through a pull, you're going through your elbows and your shoulder, that's what a polyarticulate exercise is. When you're doing a polyarticulate exercise, you have to understand that you're going to be working more than one muscle group. And when it comes to barbell bench press, barbell bench press due to your arms, your hands being in a fixed position on the bar, you're going to be working more other muscle groups aside from your chest. You're gonna be working your anterior delt and your triceps more than you would be working those assisting muscle groups in a dumbbell bench press because of that fixed position. Because you have to understand when you have a barbell in your hand, and when your hands are in the right position, which is just outside of shoulder width, it is your body's natural inclination to automatically press outward on that bar when you pick the bar up just because your hands are outside of your shoulder. So being right here, you're naturally gonna be pressing outwards more just, just because of the bar, holding the bar in your hand. And what happens when you press outwards more? You're gonna be working the outer side here. So you're gonna be working a little bit of your deltoid, you're gonna be working more of your tricep versus with a dumbbell, you're going to be holding it in one position, meaning it's going to be working your stabilizer muscles to hold it center. That way you're going to be working each side evenly and what's on the opposite side over here is going to be working probably a little bit of your bicep, but then also more chest. So you have to understand that with compound movement, you're going to be working more muscle, other muscle groups more. So what does that mean? That means that a barbell bench press is going to be more beneficial to building overall muscle and building overall strength because with a barbell bench press, you're able to load up on weight. It's much easier to put on 225, 315, 405, whatever you can bench. It's easier to throw that weight on and throw that weight up and down. Not saying that you should just throw that weight up and down, you should still contract the muscle and everything, but you're not having to kick this weight back. Let's say you wanna go heavy on a dumbbell bench. When you go heavy on a dumbbell bench, let's say I wanna go with 110, 120, maybe even 130 pound dumbbells. That is a strain on my shoulder just trying to get it back to starting position because trying to kick that back puts your shoulder into a bad position, lying down and then getting that first one up it hurts, it's, it's, it's difficult, especially with super heavy weight. So it's much easier to load up on a barbell bench press because you just have to unrack it and then go into your first rep. You gotta make sure you have a spotter. That's the downside of it is that you have to have a spotter because with a dumbbell, you can just drop the dumbbell. With a barbell, you have to have that spotter to help you get that last one up. Otherwise, you're going to end up dropping it on your chest. So make sure you are using a spotter if you're going to be doing that. But that's not the point. The point here is that a barbell bench press is gonna be a better compound movement because it's gonna be working these multiple muscle groups more than just your chest, and you're gonna be able to load up on weight more than just your chest. But the last thing is that it's not going to be as beneficial for pectoral development as a dumbbell. Why? Main two things are going to be, one, your hands being in a fixed position. How do you work your chest? I've talked about this in many videos before. You work your chest with elbow, abduction, and adduction. So that means adduction coming across your chest, horizontal adduction right there, and then abduction coming back out. That is how you work your chest. Due to it connecting, it's inserting into either 
your clavicular head, your upper chest, sternal or your abdominal, your lower, all coming up into your upper arm bone right here running across. So you have to shorten that muscle to work it and lengthen that muscle to stretch it. With a barbell bench press, your hands are in this fixed position. So when you go down into a barbell bench press, what's, what are your elbows even really doing? Because you're gonna go down and you, you might get a full stretch, but you probably won't because when you go all the way down, the bar is gonna be at your chest. You can't go any lower than the bar at your chest. But then when you press that bar up, there's a big difference between pressing that bar up and your arms being just outside of shoulder width still and all the way in to each other. So I've talked about this in videos too, acting like you're bringing your biceps in to squeeze your elbows, your biceps together. That's what's going to give you that peak contraction of your chest. When you're doing barbell bench press, you can't get that because your hands are going to be locked into this position, which is just outside of shoulder width. So you're not going to be able to get full range of motion. And then, like I mentioned earlier, just now, when you're going all the way down, trying to get that stretch on your chest, if you have good mobility in your shoulders and you're able to go down farther than what the bar sitting at your chest would allow, you're not going to be able to get that full stretch of your pectoral muscle, which is crucial for pec development. So you're not gonna be able to get the stretch and you're not gonna be able to get the same amount of peak contraction with what you would get from a dumbbell bench press. So with that being said, that's, that's, that's the summary of barbell bench press. It's a great compound movement. It's a great exercise for building overall mass because you're gonna be working multiple different muscle groups. You're gonna be able to go heavier on it, so it's good for size, overall size, overall strength. Amazing for that. Uh, but as far as total pec development, isolated pec development, not the best thing. The main benefits of dumbbell bench press is going to be pectoral development. If you are looking to develop your chest, get a bigger chest, get it to stick out of your shirt, you want to be sticking to primarily dumbbell presses because the main thing that it's going to allow is full range of motion. Like I said, with barbell bench press, your hands are in this fixed position. So when you go down, you can't go past this bar, past, you can't go with the bar past your chest. The chest is gonna stop it. So you have to stop before that, but then when you're pressing up, you get your arms straight, unless you're really, really, really focusing on squeezing your chest at the top, odds are you're losing a little bit of tension and it's, you're 100% not getting the full range of motion. So what dumbbell bench press on the other side does is you go down as low as you want. So if you have, like I said, really good shoulder mobility and you're able to go past the line of your chest, you can go as low as you want with those dumbbells, get that full stretch, and then really drive through your chest, press that weight up, but when you bring that weight up, you're not stuck outside of shoulder width. You can bring that up and you can squeeze your hands all the way together. You're the one to focus on squeezing your elbows all the way together. Getting complete elbow adduction, that's going to work your chest and then going back out and getting that stretch. So the main benefit of dumbbell versus barbell is going to be just chest, more, more chest isolation. Are you going to be working a little bit of your anterior delt, a little bit of your triceps in the process? Yes but you're also going to be stabilizing it with equal sides of your arms and of your shoulder. You're gonna, instead of just working your delt and your tricep because your arms are out here, you're gonna be holding it stable, so it's gonna be working both sides, but then you're also going to be getting the full stretch, the full, or the peak contraction. And then another benefit of it is that with, dar with barbell, a lot of times what you find is that you can end up creating your, in, like in a, a, a pec that is smaller or bigger than the other because when you're in this fixed position, a lot of times your stronger side is going to take over when you really just, your, when your form goes to shit, the weight gets too heavy, your, your strong side's gonna take over. With dumbbell, that does not happen. So with dumbbell, what you can do, well dumbbell already is a unilateral movement, but what you can make it is an isolateral movement, which means instead of just going down, both of these are dumbbells in my hand, so this is a unilateral movement, just having two different weights in each hand. But an isolateral is when you go down and go all, well, this one this one side, all, let's say 10, and then the other side, all 10. Or you can go one, one, two, two. And what that helps is you making that mind-muscle connection with each pec evenly, therefore creating a symmetrical physique. Uh, now, the downside to dumbbell bench press is you can't go as heavy. Like I mentioned earlier, it's much harder to go heavy with dumbbells versus barbells because you have to have, you probably need to have someone get, if, if you're gonna go super heavy, and, and this is why 
you, if you ever seen videos of like Arnold or all these big bodybuilders, they don't ever start with dumbbells as their first move. They start, they go into dumbbells second or third because they need to load up on weight heavy first. Um, because you can't kick back, let's say you want to go, you want to get four, four, six, four or six reps on chest. You're doing some pushing movement. Four to six reps on dumbbell for someone who's big and strong, or even like me, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get out like 120s, maybe 110, maybe 120s if I'm gonna go for that low of reps. And if I'm alone, that's gonna hurt my shoulder. It's probably gonna hurt my shoulder either way, just because kicking it up is not fun. Don't care who you are, it's difficult. You can get the form down perfectly, but when you get down and you bring it all the way down, you gotta get you gotta rock that first one out. It's not the easiest thing to do, and that's why you are supposed to have someone there to help you with that first one up. On the other side of it, though, you are able to drop the weight when it gets heavy. So, with that being said, like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, there are definite pros and cons to barbell bench press and dumbbell bench press. I'd say my end explanation here would be that barbell bench press is for people interested in building overall lean body mass and someone trying to build overall strength versus someone who is just looking to get their chest to grow a little better because dumbbell is going to do a little better of isolation than barbell is going to. So I hope this video helped you guys understand a little more about barbell versus dumbbell and this goes the same for a lot of different exercises that you can use a barbell or a dumbbell for. Uh, if you're looking for more tips in the gym, um, more uh, tips in the kitchen, training plans, meal plans. I have a online fitness community. It's a, it's a membership site. And basically what it does is I upload new training plans and meal plans for the different goals of, oh, you're looking to lose weight. Cool, here's your plan. Looking to build muscle. Cool, here's your plan. Burn fat, uh, bulk, whatever it is. There's new, there's new monthly plans uploaded in there uh, made by me and then the meal plans that are, we put in there. And then aside from that, there's like a whole library of videos that are up. We upload a couple of videos every single week so that there's always new content to watch. And because you guys are here on my YouTube channel, you guys are my uh, loyal subscribers, I'm gonna hook you guys up with a code on this video only. So if you wanna take a, a, up on that, it's usually $29.99 a month. If you sign up through this page only, it's gonna be $9.99 a month and you can even get a 30 day free trial if you want. Um, so you can check it out by clicking the link in the description below this video. Last, if you guys have liked this video at all, if you guys liked any of the, the tips that you learned, if you guys did learn anything, make sure you're clicking that thumbs up button below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, if you guys have any videos that you guys want me to make, if you guys have any topics that you guys are confused about, you wanna learn about something, you're not sure about something, you heard from somebody about this, comment it below and I'll see if I can make a video about it. And then last but not least, make sure you're clicking that subscribe button, that way you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.